Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Feature the Longest Night, 100% Lazarus. So in this episode, first we're gonna start by getting the achievement where we need the bag to Drew five times. So make sure you have a manual save here because after this we're gonna reload the save and start the real part of the walkthrough. So right now we're just gonna get the achievement. And the reason why I say the real part of the walkthrough is because we're gonna have to deplete all of our cash for this. And so once we get the achievement, we might as well just reload the save. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go right to the smithy. Now I already got the achievement. That's part of my practice run. So I know exactly what I'm doing here. So here's what we're gonna do. Trade, let's buy a couple saunas, whatever. Deplete some of that cash we have in the top right corner. Now we're down to 177. The rest I'm just gonna spend on fire arrows here. I'm gonna buy a ton of these. That takes me down to one, two, three. This is gonna be a while. Let's buy a ton of them. Oh, insufficient, insufficient. Okay, we're down to nine. So three, six, nine. Now we're down to zero. So we have zero gold. We're gonna head this way. And all the way down here. Let's get this cutscene. I'm gonna read all this in the real part of the walkthrough. So don't worry. I'm just skipping it for now. Come down here and let's talk to Drew here. So he says, kind lady, I've been hungry for many days. Can you please spare some coins for food? Give him 10 coins, say yes, but you have no money. So here's what he says. Wow, it's a rare thing to be poorer than me. Here, take this and go eat something. Okay, talk to him again. Say yes. And okay, so we just did two times already. Now, we don't want to talk to him again because we're going to give him 10 coins if we do this. And it's going to trigger the homelessness quest. So what we want to do is we still need to talk to him three more times. So we'll go back to the smithy here. Buy some lead shots. Buy a couple of these. We're back to zero gold. Let's go back down. We'll talk to Drew again. We'll be able to, to talk to him two more times. And this will be four out of five. So let's talk to him. Say yes. Okay. Talk to him again. Say yes. So that's four out of five. So now we have to buy those lead shots again until we're back to zero gold there we go back to zero gold so now we have to talk to drew twice once to activate the five out of five and another time to get the achievement because he's gonna say he has no more money for us so talk to him Say yes. He gives us coins. Talk to him again. Kind lady, I've been hungry for many days. Can you please spare some food? Say yes. I don't have any money, so please don't ask for any, my lady. And the achievement should pop up. So you should have got the bag from the beggar achievement. So make sure you get that. And now let's load the game. So once you've reloaded the game, without saving it, just reload the game. Now we're going to start the real part of the walkthrough because we got the achievement. I'm going to start by going to equipment and I'm going to put my item find gear back on here, which is Percival's. I'm thinking of switching my beast Hunter's Maul here for an Iron Halberd because of the attack bonus. Now that I have lots of shards now and I can use this for enemies and then the Iron Halberd for bosses. That's what I'm thinking about. But I don't want to put any shards into the Iron Halberd just yet because I might find a better axe before I fight the next boss. So just for now, I want to keep using beast Hunter's Maul just for the mobs. Let's talk to Idania here. Katrops. I want to buy some of these. I want to test them out. How much can we hold at the same time? I don't know how much we can hold. Let me buy seven. We can't hold 38 in our inventory, can we? That's a pretty big number to hold. I'm going to buy quite a few. 17. Let me see here. You can hold 38 in your inventory? Wow. Holy shit. Let's go to storage let's take out these throwing knives that are in our storage when your inventory is full it automatically banks them into storage so that's why they're in there now i want to sell these throwing knives because i'm not going to be using them these katrops i'm not so sure about i kind of wanted to test them on the boss to see if it uh affects the bosses but i'll keep 17 for now and let us go to the gate outpost this is our first destination Let's go this way. Nothing here. There's a secret weapon here. It's a sword. Of course, a sword. 
Not many axes in this game yet. Unfortunately. We got Pestle here. Have you heard the tale of the Gate Outpost? I remember someone told me when I was a boy that the Gate Outpost is haunted long ago. A drunk guard fell from the tower and died. Ever since his ghost has been trapped. Whenever someone sees him, he asks, Where is my helmet? But he's not just missing his helmet. His entire head is missing. I wanted to be a guard because of stories like that. I love these stories. I don't remember who told me the tale first. Though. Maybe it was winter. Well, that was unsettling, but do you know anything about the plague? Oh, the plague's tale? Not scary enough for me to remember. Okay, let's get out of here. I think there's an item over here. No? I thought there was. Well, I know there's one up here. Or maybe it's this one. This, no. I know there's one up here. I thought there was another one on the other side, but whatever. Let's talk to Atlas here. This gate help us has a long history and we are proud to serve here. But the working environment is terrible. Terrible? It looks just fine. The history of the Vigilance is much longer than ours, right? Okay. And interact, and we get the Fire Poker. At first I thought this was an axe, I was like, oh finally, a new axe. <laughs> no, it's a fucking sword. Fuck. Fucking swords, dude. What the fuck? How many swords do you need, man? How about giving us some axes, dude? I think like 70% of the weapons we've been finding have all been swords. Maybe even more than that. Let's go to the smithy. And we'll run all the way over here. Uh, have I seen you somewhere before? Trade. So he does have new equipment now. We don't have Sauna's boots yet, so we might as well just buy one of them. As you can see, I have 1,811 gold, so I'll just buy one and I'm gonna bank it. And that means we have full sauna now. And there's gold, but don't worry about the gold. Look how much it costs. 40,000 for the helmet, 70,000 for the plate, 50,000 for the... Yeah, you don't want any of this gold stuff for now. We'll worry about that some other time. I kind of want to try these explosive shots. With the slingshot. Maybe at some point though. Not right now. Anyways, I just wanted the sauna boots for now. Close the door in your... <laughs> I know, buddy. I know how you work. I'm gonna bank the fire poker for now, since I'm not using any swords at all right now. I'm gonna bank the sauna boots as well. I'll bank the rose ring. Wait, I don't even know why I took that out. I don't remember why. And that's it for now. Come this way and let's touch the owl statue here. So we have Smithy, I don't know shop in Maybridge so far. For the new world here. The other side of the world. I'm calling it the other side just because that last level we were in was gate to the other side, des destination or some shit. So to separate that world from this world, I'm just gonna call this the other side. Investigate the doors locked. And we have a cutscene. Layla, the brothers weren't lying, it's really you. It's me, Daisy, don't you recognize me? Daisy? Hey, hey, look at me, huh? I'm not a little girl anymore, I'm a pretty lady now. The savage brothers told me they met a vigilant with outside of town. So I guess it was you. Where did the professor go? Are you hurt? Professor, the brothers mentioned you seem confused. I'm always here in town. No one can hurt me. I still can't believe it's you, but I have to go back to work. You can find me at the asylum. The doctor is waiting for you there, too. Notes updated. Sister Daisy. Oh yeah, checkmarked, baby. All done. But how come the sister Daisy is in checkmarked? There might be more to this story there. Miss Alanis, find the doctor. Talk to Daisy. Ah, talk to Daisy at the asylum. There you go, that explains it. Well, I think this is locked as well. Tavern. Let's go into the tavern. Wow, wow, wow. What a beauty. Come sit at the table with me, please. I'm a fisher, the richest man in May. I love jewelry and fine wines, and now I own the mining and brewing industries in the area. I'm a self-made man, you know. I heard there was an accident in the mine, but it isn't a big deal if I lose some people. I wouldn't be surprised if the plague came from there. I wouldn't doubt anything that came out of that hellhole. I just hope the infected miners stay there and die instead of bringing that poison here. Hey girly, don't go. Stay here with me. I'll get you anything you want. I'm rich. A lot of miners die in the accident. It takes so much money to recruit new laborers. It's not worth it. Well, look who it is. The last time I saw you, you were a little girl. I thought we met recently. What are you talking about? It's been years since you left. The good customers are all gone. Why do the cheap ones last longer? Want some apple cider? Yeah. Give me some apple cider. Oh, I thought it was free. <laughs> well, you know, I'm cheap, so nope. I last longer because I'm cheap. I have plenty of apple cider. You actually get tons of them for free. 
In fact, right over here is one for free. Due to the monsters, postal services have been cancelled for a very long time. I keep this letter with me, it's a piece of the puzzle. If you threw this draft into the sea, how far would it float? Would it make it to the other side? I'm sure it's unlikely, but it's a nice thought. Can you help me? You see, I'm trapped here right now. Would you like to help Noakes throw his draft into the sea? Yes. Fine, I can do that for you. Thank you very much. Throw it from the bunker in the flooded area. It shouldn't be difficult. Okay, so flooded area. Note that because that's going to be a new area, obviously, that we need to go to. So we'll have to remember to do the quest in that area. Message in a bottle and apple cider. Of course, apple cider was on the table. Miscellaneous. The draft in a bottle. Throw the message in a bottle into the sea from the bunker in the flooded area. Please throw the draft into the sea. Throw it from the bunker in the flooded area. It shouldn't be too hard. Here's some more apple cider for free. Did you hear about what happened in the mine? Everyone keeps calling it an accident, but I'm not convinced. How so? Apparently some of the men there were transformed into monsters. By the goddess, do you think they're survivors? How should I know? Wait, you're not thinking of going there. The mine is far from here. It would be hard to find without a guide. Apple cider times too. Don't go running into danger, just sit down and have a drink. We can break the box, but there's... Kind of pointless, no items or nothing. They should have hit something in there. Not everyone will think about breaking that box. Um, yeah, let's go up top here actually. Grab this is more apple cider times three. I don't want to go anywhere near the flooded area. That town is much safer. Hey, can I get another print? I would never have gotten a board if I needed the money. Um, jump up here. And we can go up here. There should be a treasure chest up here. A gorgeous candlestick. It's not just a candlestick, it's a gorgeous candlestick. Look at that baby, so gorgeous. Can be used to decorate your room. Awesome. But I don't have a house yet, because because um, I'm broke. Can't afford no house. Be nice to get one, huh? Um, yeah, let's go this way, actually. The number of patients in this time is growing. A doctor can't manage alone anymore. Fortunately, we still have the doctor and his assistant. With the people so dedicated to helping others, there's still hope left. Let's go to room 217. We have to grab a painting. This is the second painting in the game. I was scared at the dark when I was a little girl. To calm me down, my mom would tell me stories about bears. I'd never seen a real bear before, but I've heard some live in a depressing forest, so I asked the hundred brothers to take me to see one. And then, did you see any? I don't like bears anymore. It was terrifying. Nobody lives in a room downstairs, but you can sometimes hear someone down there swearing loudly. I thought the portrait was in this room. Or oh, maybe it's this one, 237. I think I got the rooms mixed up. Yeah. There it is, Portrait of Scholar Woods. Happy accident, we have two paintings now. Let's go downstairs. There's a room right here. This is the one that they said that is haunted. Can't go in there, it's locked right now. We'll have to investigate it some other time. It's up to this guy. Have you heard about the mining accident? My brother Pierre works there. I hope he's okay. Can anyone help my brother out of that damn mine? It is praying in the Shepherd Church really enough? Notes updated. We have rescued the survivors. Clay's request. Find Clay's brother Pierre in the mine. Okay, down here is the painting guy's house. Let's not go right there is the, his house. Let's not go there yet. Let's keep talking to NPCs. I used to be so healthy but haven't been well recently. Is it because I'm getting old? Now they say there's a plague. Okay, what's down here? Oh, this is the other side, but we can talk to this guy. So cold, uh, I need to throw up. And he just says that shit over and over. Okay, let's not go too far across. That goes to a different area. There's a bottom part to the area, and there's another top part, which is a different area. They all like connect in some kind of way though. Okay, let's go to the asylum. Talk to... Okay, let's talk to f her first. Daisy? Good to see you here, Layla. The scholar Dawn sent me a message. She says she has some medicine reserves at her place. We need it badly, but I can't leave right now. Do me a favor and bring us the medicine, please, Layla? I can help. Will it help with the plague? I don't really know. If you want to learn more, you should ask the doctor directly. He's always on the second floor with his research. 
Talk to her again. I remember your to-do list, Daisy. I got you the items from it. But the blouse is covered in blood. Blood? He said that I could help you, so I just... That doesn't matter. I deal with much worse in the asylum. I'll take care of it. By the way, this is my homemade headdress. Isn't it pretty? It will bring you good luck. Daisy's headwear acquired. Talk to her again. Take this, Layla. The color is so... What is this? <laughs> I don't know why the doctor asked me to dump it. Daisy's special drink. Now we talk to Isabella here. Isabella, are you feeling well? I'm sick. Daisy has been taking care of me, but how do you know my name, miss? We met outside, don't you remember? Outside? Sounds like a wonderful dream. If I recover, will daddy come back? I want to pick flowers again. Talk to her again. My throat is burning. Want to drink something? Daisy said she would give me a special drink. Do you mean this drink? Daisy gave me one too. Yes, that's it. It smells like flowers. I miss flowers. Then you can have it, but don't drink it too quickly. This isn't just any drink. This is medicine. Daisy told me it's magic. Alright, so Daisy's special drink has been given to Isabella now. Go to notes. Salinas. Errands. Find Dawn in the village. I'll tell you a secret. Every time Booth sleeps, Daisy sneaks in and shakes his bed. It's hilarious. Booth has a mental condition called glass syndrome. He thinks his body is fragile like glass, so he hides in his bed every day. It's funny, right? Do you believe in reincarnation, sis? I've heard such things before, but if we could only return to the old times, I mean such ancient times, we might glimpse upon our past. Only a daydream, but an interesting one, right? Okay, there's the other side of Raytown. Let's go this way. This leads to the other different part. Talk to this guy. Daisy's a good girl. She took care of me. I wouldn't have survived without her. I'm sure someone was shaking my bed the other night. <laughs> Was it another patient? Don't they know if I fall, all the bed I could shatter into a million pieces? So, so tired. D did you say anyone suspicious recently? Let's go up here. And here's the dock. Let's grab this item here, which is healing potion times two. Layla, Daisy has spoken of you. You haven't been home for a long time. This is the first time she smiles since the plague broke out. Tell me about the plague, what's happening? 20 years ago, a flood destroyed the entire dock, and now the flooded area teems with a bizarre creature from the depths. Perhaps the plague came from them. Long night gone, bright light come. Bathe me, please, or radiant sun. Okay then. Well. Okay, let's go out of main, main town here. Out this door, the front door. If we talk to her, she needs medicine too. If we go right down here. I don't feel well, so I should go back to the asylum and get more medicine. But there are too many sick people there. Kind lady, I've been hungry for many days. Can you please spare some coins for food? Say yes, give him 10 coins. Here you are, have a meal. You are so kind, like the girl from the shelter. Girl from the shelter? Do you mean the asylum? She just came from the town and offered me food. I can't remember her name. She was so kind. I don't think I've ever seen her before, but I'm not sure. Gold, negative 10, but talk to him again. So tired, sleep. Wait, what? Okay, notes updated. Mysterious plague. Investigate the flooded area. The doctor believes the plague originated in the flooded area. I should investigate the area. That flooded area seems there's, there's a lot to do there. Miscellaneous. Homelessness. Here we go. Gave Drew some money. I should visit him later. Alright, so. That's why it's important to give him the 10 gold coins. It's not really much. <laughs> So let's jump up here, and yeah, let's, okay, I think we've done everything pretty much now. Except for the painter's house, which you have to go to next. So let's keep going up here. Go inside painter's cottage. Um, skip this guy for now. Let's go down into his basement. And over here is a chest with another painted. So we have three paintings so far. You're gonna find another one inside the village after. That's gonna be in a different episode. Grab this one, which is Dab Hand Ring. So this reduces your stamina cost by negative five. So I'm gonna put that on in place of Withered Flower Ring, since I think over time that will save me more stamina. I still have the Money Drop Ring, just to get more gold coins for now. But I'll probably remove that ring at some point, especially for bosses, I'll remove it. Just to put a better ring on. But for mobs, I'll keep the Money Drop Ring on. Alright, so talk to this guy. Do you understand art? Art can provide us with the most beautiful moments of our deprived lives. I have painted many masterpieces, but seven of them were lost during my travels. Would you be able to find them? 
Will you find Hugh's paintings? Yes. I would like to thank you in the name of the goddess of art, but no mortal has done the right to speak for them. So I will simply thank you for myself. Notes updated. Happy accident. Look for the paintings. A strange painter asked me to find his seven lost paintings. So we, what, how much do we have? Like three or four? Paint, oh, we have three. It tells you right here, paintings found one, two, three. So that's three out of seven. So if we talk to him again, he's going to take all the paintings, but we'll wait till we acquire all seven of them first. Right now we have three out of seven. Okay, so once you leave the painter's cottage, You'll come down here. I forgot to grab this note, which has a quest note on it. So there's a throwing knife and attached was a paper on the throwing knife. That's what that is. So you go to notes and it's ancient seal, mysterious person. Come find me on the outskirts of May, Hilda. So that's where we're going right now, outskirts of May. This area is really fast, so we don't have to worry too much here. About time, because I can do this really quick. So there's no point in me just doing this next episode. But while we're here, let's talk to this guy. Aldo. Don't you think we should go and help the civilians during the outbreak instead of just sitting around? We have to stay put to help lessen the spread of the plague. But we are still in town, technically. Isn't it dangerous for us to be here at all? Talk to him again. The plague could be from the flooded area. Bufanite Lake. Or the mine. Who knows? Have you ever investigated these areas? Not yet, but I will. Okay, so that's it. We touch this save here. Get the autosave and a new teleport. Go up here. We're gonna have to make a double jump, so be prepared. There we go. Talk to Hilda. Hey, if it isn't Daisy's famous vigilant sister. And you are. I won't waste your time. I'm Hilda and that's all you need to know. I don't know much about you either, but I come to tell you to be careful about trusting people who seem to do good. They may not be so pleasant on the inside, but I should trust someone as suspicious as you. Ah, uh, you tell it like it is. I appreciate the honesty. Oh, take this with you. My appearance is important to me, so I really don't want to hold on to something so hideous. An eyeball necklace? Weird, I know. You'll like it though. Find me at the Miner's Path by the Broken Bridge if you want to speak again. So with the Finder again, and you should get an achievement for this slash trophy. Well, actually this is not for PlayStation yet, but in the future, it might be. So here's what we got. Fallen Eyeball. Almond's favorite invention. Though not very useful in combat, it can be used to investigate the environment beyond your vision, so let's put that on. So if you throw this, you can get an extra look. Like that. It just... Wherever the eyeball lands is where you can see around. So it's like an extra pair of eyes for where you can't see. So we interact and get Brass Mask. Let's put that on. Into the mask section here, we get 3 defense, 6 poise, bleeding resistance 20%. Fire resistance is negative 5%. However, our fire resistance doesn't appear to go into the negatives, it just stays at zero. Interesting enough, I guess. Let's go down. Let me go back this way. I am actually gonna... T hold on, I gotta put my teleport back on. Let's put the owl's feather back on. And I'll see you guys next episode. Thanks for watching.